the news will have got to you. Of course it has. It. Chris Wilder this very day is parting company with Sheffield United. I spoke to a source close to the owner a short time ago, David, who said there have been issues. They've had discussions and there have been issues. That apart, what's your reaction to it? Yeah, I mean, um, I think it's certainly disappointing because um, I think Chris is one of those uh, managers that I think players really like. And I know people say, well, you know, maybe he's got the sack because of what he said about his players publicly. But I know a few people at the club and obviously when I'm going to games I'm talking to those people and I spoke to them at the Emirates when they played Arsenal and Chris is a manager I guess the closest one you could probably think is about is about Sir Alex Ferguson that's the impact that's the influence he has at that football club at this moment in time Chris prior to losing his job right he had a hand on everything right right everything right so what color the walls were painted to you know you name it yeah now not many managers have that degree of power and influence but Chris had it now, I think this is more to do with losing a bit of that influence and power. And I believe there's a director of football spoken about and this, that and the other. But Chris is an old-style old style, traditional British manager who used to manage the football club. And I think, you know, maybe the club want to go in a different direction and, and you know, put it all together. You know, they might say this reason, that reason. Um, but I, I believe a director of football might be talked about and... Uh, I don't think Chris is going to suffer that. I think Chris wants to do, does, do things his way. Yeah, sure. I mean, many Sheffield United fans that we've been speaking to this morning, Bob, you'll verify this. I've been saying, but why now, David? Why now? I mean, uh, I, I think they would have liked Chris to have seen it out, seen this season out, and then go. They know they're going to the Championship, David. They know that. But just see the thing out. Well, maybe they, they might be saying to him, why aren't you playing You know, certain players that they signed? For example, Reem Brewster, why aren't you playing him? Well, maybe Chris feels it doesn't matter whether I bought him and he was expensive, um, but, you know, he has, he's not going to work out for me so he's not playing him but maybe he's saying well if you spend that money why aren't you playing him or mm, sure. various others you've got to remember they've relied on the side that got him up Yes, you know for a number of seasons he's been loyal to and those players have been great for him but he's called them out of late I don't look you ask any player they'd rather Mark Matidis I'd rather have an honest manager you know than a dishonest one and I think players will, will suffer that